Hey everybody, Alicia here with the Rhonda Gostitis team at Keller Williams Realty. And today I wanted to talk to you about hosting an annual company retreat. We do this every year and since we have started, it's been phenomenal for our business. So a lot of people might be thinking, well, I don't know where to start, don't even know what to talk about. Um, so I figured I'd give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to get started. So one thing to think about when getting started is to find an off-site location. Even if you have a big conference room that can fit your whole team, it's best to find somewhere where you can't just easily grab that phone or run off and check an email. You really want everyone who is participating to be engaged and completely emerged in your company retreat. So the first thing I recommend is finding an offsite location. Another thing to think about is we cater in uh, breakfast and lunch just because again, we don't want anyone to miss out on what we want for next year. Alrighty, next you want to have an agenda for the day. There's a lot of things I'm sure you'd like to cover. And if you don't have an agenda to keep you on pace, you might forget about something or not have enough time to go over everything that you wanted. I know our first year we missed a few things that I really wanted to cover just because of time. So when starting an agenda, you want to think about all the key components of your business. Um, usually technology is going to be a huge factor, the customer experience, um, the vision of your company, where do you see it going in the future, and what does it mean to get there. So when starting off an agenda, I always like to start off with some motivation, maybe some good pump up music, get everybody going and get it some energy in the room. Uh, next, we go into um, what did we do well this, this year? Um, usually, I guess another big thing I forgot to mention, we usually do this in October. So that way, I know in real estate at least, if we wanna have a great first quarter, we have to start the year before. So we typically have it in the beginning of October, so that way we can crush the fourth quarter, get all motivated and make sure that we have a really strong first quarter in 2022. So with that being said, um, you wanna think about what did you do well this year? Uh, what were some great triumphs? Did anyone achieve what they were looking for? Anyone get a new house, have a new family? And by that, I mean, have a baby. <laughs> uh, or buy a car, anything like that, that were some big, huge accomplishments. You wanna recognize that and allow your team to have that moment to recognize what they did extremely well. Uh, the next thing you might wanna think about is what could you do better? In what areas of your business could you maybe enhance, maybe have some different ideas to brainstorm about what you can do better? Um, I like to call those breakouts. So typically I'll have some breakouts planned throughout the day where we break into small groups. Um, I find it easier to name the small groups, that way you're mixing up everybody um, when it's time to switch. And during those groups, we have a focusing question, what are some things we want to brainstorm about? And then once we do that, we have each team present their top three ideas for that question. And then we all come back together, we discuss what the top three were and different things we wanna implement into our business. So by doing that, you have a lot of group participation. It's not just someone standing up front in front of a lecture the whole time, um, but it really causes a lot of engagement and gets people excited. The next big important part is motivation and what drives your team. So of course your business has its own goals, but everyone likes to know what part they're gonna play in helping the company achieve those goals. So it's really good to start them thinking about what is their big why? Why do they come to work every day? And what are the types of dreams and aspirations that they have um, and want in their lives? So we always start with our big why. Um, we do vision boards, which is always really fun. We can see what everybody's caring about. Um, we actually do those on the computer in um, Google Draw. And we kind of go around gallery style and everybody can look through at, at what is important to each of our team members. And it really helps get to know our team members on a different level, because we find out what they really care about and what they want with their lives. So next we go ahead and break it down into, okay, specifically who's gonna do what and what needs to happen in order for us to hit our goals. So then we get more into the planning part. We break it down, okay, so if in order to have this big goal accomplished, we break it into chunks throughout the year of different goals we want to accomplish. 
this year we are going to be adopting the 12 week year. I haven't, don't know if you've heard about that, but the 12 week year, it's a phenomenal book and it's, I've heard it's transformed tons of different companies and people really enjoy it. So essentially what that is, is breaking down instead of having a 12 month year, you have a 12 week year with smaller goals, um, with little chunks. Uh, so you're winning along the way and hitting and being as pro productive as you can. All right, so the next step um, that we like to do is talk about the things we wanna to do to impact our community. Uh, what charities do we want to partner with? Do we wanna have any fundraising events? What are our fundraisers gonna be for? What type of community service do we wanna do? Um, so we vote on that, which is always really fun, as well as our team building events. We like to do some fun things throughout the year to break up the year and really get to know our team members better. I know we've been bowling, we've been to Top Golf, and those are just a few that our team has voted on. So I'm excited to see what we vote for this year. And the next, we like to celebrate small wins too. So we talk about if we reach some of our goals and some different milestones, what does our team wanna to do to celebrate? Do we wanna have a spa day where everyone gets a service? Do we want to go to Universal? Um, and of course our big annual goal, if we hit that, I know, um, We've been wanting to go on a cruise, so fingers crossed we hit our big annual goal this year. Um, but it's always fun to see what the whole team cares about. Obviously, if you have a giant company and corporation, you'll have to break it down into departments to be able to have this type of retreat. Um, however, I do think it's, it's very, very beneficial to get everybody on the same page, motivated, and know exactly what to expect for next year. Another great thing to do is what we call um, department chairs or department uh, overviews. A lot of times we take other parts of the company for granted. We know kind of what they do, but not exactly what they do. So it's always nice to give them their time to shine, let them explain how what they've been working on, what they've accomplished, and what they are looking for and what they see in the future for their department. Um, once all the departments are working together, it's great to see how that works out. The last part we'd like to end with is a letter to yourself. So in a year from now, if I could say this was the best year ever, what happened in your world? What happened with work? What happened with your family? Did you go on any fun trips? Uh, what is it that you wish would happen for it to be awesome? And so we have every team member write that down. And then a year from now, we pass them all out and see what you've accomplished in that year. And where did you stay on track? Did some unforeseen thing happen that kind of derailed you so you can focus again next year? So it's always a really fun exercise and everyone loves to see what happens and reflect on what happened the previous year. And one thing to do, um, as I mentioned, we go over a lot in our retreats and all of those different topics that I brought up, it's great to start preparing your team ahead of time. So if you know you really wanna think about what is impacting your community gonna look like for our team, it's great to get them thinking now because again, you only have a very short amount of time throughout the day to squeeze everything in there that you want to. So if that is something that's important to you, you want them to already be brainstorming some things to bring to the table when it comes time for that section. Also making sure that they're thinking about their goals. Um, one thing that I learned from the Papazans, they're a very successful real estate team out of Texas, was they had a couple's goal setting retreat. It's great to have your team members have their goals, but if they don't talk to them with their family and their significant others, then a lot of times that can stop that, those goals from coming true because they're not in line with their family and what they want. So by having a couple's retreat, um, it's a great time to get together with your um, significant other and talk about what their goals are. Make sure that you guys are both on the same page. I know when the Papazan's example was, um, her husband uh, actually wanted a giant ranch out, um, I think it was in Montana or somewhere like that. <laughs> and so she had no idea that that was even on her husband's goal, vision board, nothing. It was something that was never brought up, but it was something that he was really passionate about. So I guess I, a couple years down the road when it came time that there was a, an opportunity, she was completely aware of it and was not completely off guard when he's like, yeah, I think we should move forward with this. 
So knowing what's important to your family, getting them on board with your goals, your vision, it, it just helps your team just jive that much better and really be focused on what's important to them. So like I said, it's always great to prepare your team, bring up some topics for them to brainstorm and really get everybody excited for what this year is going to bring. Obviously with everything that's been going on, it's been tough for a lot of us. So to keep on dreaming, keep on thinking about what's going to make our world a better place is always a great thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or anything, um, please go ahead, reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, we've done several retreats now and they just get better and better every year. So if your first one doesn't go just as planned, don't worry about it, it happens. There's probably gonna be some AV problems. Um, I suggest making a PowerPoint uh, and making sure that the venue is prepared to be able to put that PowerPoint up there. But again, uh, the biggest thing is that you're doing it. You care about your company, you care about your employees, and you want to make this world a better place. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, real estate's a dream with the Rhonda Gostitis team. Have a great day.